Hey guys, Caleb here, your Saturday host for FT Real M. And this week we are choosing our own topic. So um, I'm choosing to do uh, the different types of testosterone. So <clears throat> I've been on T for over two and a half years now. Um, for a little over two years, I was doing intramuscular not intramuscular, but I was doing injections. I did a intramuscular, got switched to sub-Q right around a year and a half, I got switched to the sub-Q. But um, I was doing the injections and everything seemed to be great. But then my blood, uh, red blood cell count was really high and very concerning. Like it was, it was a little crazy. Like my doctor made me donate blood, uh, as soon as I could, and then she switched me to testosterone gel. Um, let's see, while I was doing the injections, I was only doing uh, 0.6 milliliters. Uh, now I do, it's like a pump, and they just have me do one pump uh, every day. And like the gel, it's not really a gel, it's way more liquidy than like a gel, but um, like you rub it on. But since I started doing the um, gel, it's supposed to be, um, it, she's trying to get it so that it was right around what I was doing. Uh, but I think it might be, I might be getting more testosterone. Because since I started using the gel, um, my body is like, I'm breaking out. Like I got acne all, all on my face, all over my chest and back again. I get it everywhere now. I've started producing hair faster on my body. Like, I already had hair, but now I have a lot more. Um, my girlfriend told me that my, my dick got bigger. So, since I started the gel. So, it was just, it's just interesting that I'm not sure if I am getting more testosterone or if switching what type of tea promotes different, like, you know, things to happen. Like, when I was doing the injections, uh, my hairline seemed to be receding faster. It doesn't seem to be receding as fast anymore. So that's cool. But, um, I know there's, like, all different kinds of testosterone that you can take. It's just the injections are... They work fast, like, pretty fast. Like, um, people that are on the gel say that it doesn't work as fast, but I'm getting some changes. My voice actually did get a little deeper too. I don't know if it's if you guys can tell, but sometimes like my voice will still crack. Like it's cracked a few times at work. Um when I'm on phones with like agents and stuff, so that's kind of awkward, but it's I can feel it. It feels like it keeps getting deeper. Not a lot of time, but whatever. I just I think it's interesting that switching things up made more changes. But then again, it could be I, I'm getting more testosterone at, um, than I was before. But, um, so, that's really all I wanted to talk about. I mean, mention, I would be really interested in hearing, um, any guys how, how, uh, like, if you switch different types of testosterone, like, the way it's administered, like, I'd be interested in hear if you guys experience changes like I did, um, and if you guys think that maybe I am getting more testosterone at a time, or maybe it is the different types of testosterone promote different, like, transitions, like, like, transitioning different. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting and wanted to mention it to you guys. And that dog in the background, if you can hear him, he's just sad because my parents left. He's being a little baby, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys just want to, like, leave a comment and about how like things that happened when you switched to different types of testosterone or whatever or do you think that it could be like i'm getting more tea all that stuff whatever i don't know um but yeah i guess that's all i have to talk about this week so i will see you guys next week